today we're going to record a lesson on um, interacting with the text. So some things we did today is uh, we met and we are reading a story about Malcolm Mitchell, an athlete and a reader. Yesterday's lesson was based on modeling, kind of putting the date and using check marks for identifying how many times we read a story. We also use the text icons of a heart for love reading. We put that in red. We use the yellow um, happy face for something you read about that makes you happy. We used a star for stuff that identified this is important. We use an exclamation mark um, for things that were exciting that the kids read about. We use a heart for things that were wondering. When we interact with the text, we interact with the text based on like either bracketing or boxing our paragraphs, as you can see here. They would number them one, two, three, and four. And then if you can look at mine, you see that we actually highlight and underline in the color of our icons. So these text marking icons we've used for the entire year. So the kids are familiar with them. It's just kind of getting them to being able to be independent um, for what they're doing. So when we began the lesson, the first thing we have the kids do is we have them put in the left side a number one because their page is actually front and back and we wanted to identify that as well as a number two in the top left hand corner circling, that's their second page. Another thing we had them to do was either write the word text marking icons. And for some kids who that may be overwhelming to write, we had them go ahead and put in a parenthesis a T, M, and an I, which would still signify that they are doing text marking icons. So I asked them to take out five different color, um, color pencils. And the reason for that is they're going to underline the sentences in that same color. They're going to use a heart or something they love to read about. And it gives them a focus as they're reading it. They're going to use a happy face for something that made them happy to read about. They're going to use kind of like an asterisk or a star for something that was important for them to read about. And then they're going to use an exclamation mark for something that was exciting for them to read about. And we have them use those colors. Finally, they will put a question mark um, for something that maybe they were wondering or they needed some additional clarification or could do some some kind of like research on um, on that to do. So the next thing that we asked them to do was to actually physically go ahead and box their paragraphs. So when we talk about boxing paragraphs or when I'm teaching boxing paragraph, what I'm looking for my kids to be able to do is to kind of identify a paragraph. So for their paper, we talked about a bracket, which is what I use, but they can actually physically box it and they will mark that a number one. On this particular thing for you guys, there was a second page. So that paragraph was continued and that was identified as number two. And then the third paragraph began here for the number three. And then the fourth paragraph began here for number four. And so now they have their paragraphs. For my students, what I want them to see is kind of tracking. And if you're at home working with your child through this or, you know, your students in your class, it's hard to see tracking when you're doing things digitally. So one way I show that is I actually will read it in different colors. So we actually, if you look here, began this yesterday on the 7th. What I did today is I wrote today's date up here and I circled it. And that would kind of be knowing, okay, I've gone in yesterday on the 7th and I actually physically read it three times to my kids. Today is the 8th. It's a new day. I like them to circle the day as they're doing it. And we're going to go through modeling of reading it. Malcolm, sorry. Malcolm Mitchell used to be an American football player. He played on a team called the New England Patriots. He helped them win the Super Bowl. Malcolm Mitchell loves American football, but he also loves to read. 
He believes reading helps you become more creative. For a long time, Malcolm Mitchell struggled with reading. In college, he started to work really hard at reading. His reading got better and he began to love reading. He also ended up joining an all women's book club. He was the only man in the group, but he didn't care. He learned a lot more from this club. He continued to love reading more and more. He decided to create a program called Read with Malcolm. This program donates books to children who may not be able to get them. It also helps children learn how to read better. Malcolm Mitchell is now an author. His children's book is called The Magician's Hat. It is about a magician, the power of books, and following your dreams. Immediately, I'm going to mark a, sec a first check mark because that means on the 8th, I read the story one time. My first reading for my purpose is to find something I love to read about and something I'm happy to read about. So one thing that I loved reading about was that he believes reading helps you become more creative. And I would underline that sentence in red and put a heart. Another thing for me is I don't like the kids to necessarily copy what I'm doing. So I immediately will delete stuff off. So if you see, I take it off just to model the purpose of finding the information that I want read. And I also need to read to find something that made me happy to read about. One thing that made me happy to read, read about was, let's see. In the third paragraph, it says he decided to create a program called Read with Malcolm. This program donates books to children who may not be able to get them. I will put a happy face there because it's something that I love reading about. So as I'm doing this, I'm showing the kids, even at home if you're helping, that I read the story one time, I'm going to read it a second time. Now, I want my kids to track, 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 track. So in tracking, if they're not using, if they're using a piece of paper, they can track. However, for me, I'm using it digitally on my iPad. It's hard to see my tracking. So what am I doing? I'm going to highlight the words again and model reading it the second time. Malcolm Mitchell used to be an American football player. He played on a team called New England Patriots. He helped them win the Super Bowl. Malcolm Mitchell loves American football, but he also loves to read. He believes reading helps you become more creative. For a long time, Malcolm Mitchell struggled with reading. In college, he started to work really hard at reading. His reading got better, and he began to love reading. He also ended up joining an all-women's book club. He was the only man in the group, but he didn't care. He learned a lot more from this club. He continued to love reading more and more. He decided to create a program called Read with Malcolm. This program donates books to children who may not be able to get them. It also helps children learn how to read better. Malcolm Mitchell is now an author. His children's book is called The Magician's Hat. It is about a magician, the power of books, and following your dreams. Now that's my second time reading it. You see that I highlight it. My second time as I'm reading, I'm kind of going to look for something that's important and exciting. So I want to write my icons under or over the sentences that are important and exciting. One thing that as many times I've read this story that I always think is important is that he continued to love reading more. No, no, sorry, not there. Is here in the second paragraph. For a long time, Malcolm Mitchell struggled with reading. In college, he started to work really hard at reading. His reading got better and he began to love reading. I always think that's important because it's one of those things when you're summarizing or modeling, summarizing your thinking, you can kind of show like, okay, when he began reading, reading was hard for him. What he did is when he got in college, he started to work really hard at reading. And as he got better reading, he learned to love reading. So it kind of shows kids like you keep going and you don't give up. A thing that I read that was exciting or that's really exciting to me is that he's now an author. And he has a children's book called The Magician's Hat. And you see that I identify those immediately with the exclamation mark and the um, asterisk. Now, again, I don't leave this stuff up because I want my kids to learn it independently. So like my kids that are absent, you guys will see that this is not up when I post this in Canvas. It's just going to show kind of like a little bit of the text marking and the basic stuff that you can practice on your own. But independently, this is meant to be your thinking, your thoughts, kind of what you're learning from the article and what you want someone to know.
So I'm going to read it a third time. And my third time, my focus is going to be really based on if I have any questions or anything I'm wondering about. So Malcolm Mitchell used, again, Malcolm Mitchell used to be an American football player. He played on a team called the New England Patriots. He helped them win the Super Bowl. Malcolm Mitchell loves American football, but he also loves to read. He believes reading helps you become more creative. For a long time, Malcolm Mitchell struggled with reading. In college, he started to work really hard at reading. His reading got better, and he began to love reading. He also ended up joining an all-women's book club. He was the only man in the group, but he didn't care. He learned a lot more from this club. He continued to love reading more and more. He decided to create a program called Read with Malcolm. This program donates books to children who may not be able to get them. It also helps children learn how to read better. Malcolm Mitchell is now an author. His children's book is called The Magician's Hat. It is about a magician, the power of books, and following your dreams. Now, at this point, if I had anything that I was wondering about, or maybe some of my students had not finished um, what they loved or were happy about or important, excited, or wondering, are you guys in class in additional time? This is a time where really during that third read, it's like, oh, stuff is making sense. Oh, I'm knowing this. Oh, I can find this in this paragraph. So if I had a question um, about anything, let's see. <laughs> I could ask a question, maybe may have a kid that's into sports or something based on this. Maybe I would want to know when he played on the New England Patriots. So I could put a question there and maybe look that up or teach them how to go in and find that information. If we were writing like an autobiography about him, um, we could do that or, or a biography about him, then we can do that. Or I could say, oh, what years did he play in the New England Patriots? Or maybe I want some more details about where he's at today. Then I could put a question mark over that and I can go ahead and research that. Um, hmm. let's think that would be kind of like the interacting part today. I introduced with my kids, um, kind of like a new icon for them when they are listening to the story, because there's one thing to know that I'm reading the story to them, but I also want to know how are they going and they are kind of like getting that information so one thing I want to begin to see for my kids is because ReWorks articles have an option to play the sound, if my kids are listening to the story, I have them draw an icon of some headphones, and then they would need to basically like check the three times so I know that they listen to the story um, on that. So they're given about 30 minutes independently to walk work on this, and this turns into them being able to do a one-pager. So hopefully for my kiddos that you go back and watch this, you can kind of see me taking myself through the process of what I want you to do um, or any questions that anyone may have. Thank you.